Hey, what's going on, folks? I'm your host, Class. This is my co-host, Mr. J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, we're here to bring you another powerhouse fight. Who do we have for today? Today we have Boba Fett from Star Wars versus Star Lord of Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah. And uh, at this moment, I'm always just gonna let you know my boy is obviously a Boba Fett fan, so he's gonna be defending Boba Fett today. I will be defending Star Lord. Now we're not gonna this do is the way. we're not gonna do the Star Lord from the comic books. We're gonna do the Star Lord from the movies interpretation. So just to kind of give Boba Fett and Star Lord the fair equal treatment, since they're both we only know them from the movies. We don't really know completely all of the comics. We just watched a couple origins about them, but. We're not gonna be like, oh, I know what we, I know what we're because I learned one I information, read every comic book, and I was wrong about that information. So, <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I thought, oh yeah, this and that, and I found out I was wrong. There wasn't any of that information, so it's better we just go with the movie because I know the movie guy, like, and he does too. We watch those, we watch them. We're not nerds, we just like them. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, do you want to start or do you want me to start off? I'll let you get your argument out first. All right. So, I'm going to go and start off with, uh, let's say, well, let's talk about the fact that um, Boba Fett is a clone. And he's a clone from uh, a very, I guess, impressive background. So, he is supposed to be like the ultimate warrior, in a sense. And, uh, you know, he lost his father. Apparently, his father taught him everything he learned. So, now he's a professional bounty hunter. Now, from what I can tell, from what I've seen in the movies... Okay, Boba Fett is known for kind of being sneaky. He likes to do the shootings from the distance. The whole fighting sequence in the movies didn't seem like he was the type of person who liked to do the hand-to-hand -hand combat. So I don't think he's the type of person who's going to want to approach a fight with anyone without some range. Now, on the other hand, Star-Lord, same situation. The only difference between him and Star-Lord is that Star-Lord had Yondu. And in the movie's interpretation. Now, Yondu is actually an experienced warrior. If you actually know him from the comics, you know, they kind of adapted that into the movie because they gave him that respect and send-off in the sequel. Spoiler alerts if you guys haven't already seen it. Uh, <laughs> which has been out for years. Come on, guys. <laughs> and, uh, you know, like so... If, if you haven't seen it, then, you know... I don't know, where you been? We, we shouldn't be talking about yeah, this. Yeah, right? it's like you should just go... Look, just pause this, come back. <laughs> and uh, so... Yandu, Yandu did raise Quill, so I gotta believe that Quill learned some of that fighting skills techniques from him. Um, so, but from what you can see in the movies, Peter is quick. He's he likes to do things quickly with a reflex. He tries to try to think on his feet. That's how he usually catches his people. Now, because of the quick on his feet, I feel like this would give him the upper advantage in the fight, going toe to toe. Now. Let's compare gadgets as well. Now that jetpack, if you remember him, you remember Boba Fett in the movie, it did have a glitch. And the problem with that is... Okay, the jetpack may be faulty, alright? But like, <laughs> you know, that, that's not everything he has. <laughs> but let's get real. So if the jetpack is faulty, and if you look at the comparisons between the gadgets, um, Peter in the comics has an element gun. I don't know if Peter in, this, in the movie has an element gun, but in the comics he has an element gun. The helmet apparently can tell him how to fight against somebody or counter uh, certain tactics and everything like that. So going toe to toe with a man that's going to try to go to, against him without using his weapon. Let's say he's going hand to hand with him. Peter's going to win because he's got the advancement of technology to beat this guy. All right. So he has that in his favor. Whether or not Boba Fett thinks he, Boba Fett is a great hitman. But he looks like he can only handle himself in a range situation. He doesn't look like he can handle himself and a one-on-one -on -one hand to hand combat. Maybe, I haven't seen The Mandalorian, but in the Boba Fett yeah. sto series, he doesn't look that impressive to me. He looks like he was easily beaten, and the way he died just kind of reassures me that Peter would just kill him, him kill him in the most ridiculous way. And like the most goofy way. Maybe with a, just throwing a little, of those one of those little grenades or whatever the hell those things are that just sparks into his jetpack, blows him up, and boom, the game is over. That's how he would die. That's how it would end. That's it. That's how I see it. 
on top of that, let's. I want to say one more point. When we talk about jet, jet, uh, jet rockets, we're talking the jet boot rockets are a lot more uh, durable than those rockets that he has on his back. That thing only lasts for a certain brief amount of time. Peters can last for a long period of time. If you can remember, in the when he gets out in the galaxy, he's floating around with those jetpacks. So, yeah, that's a very really good point. But I mean, if he cuts his feet off, then his boots would be going a little useless, there, right? <laughs> If, I you, mean, if that, you were to catch him like that. That's yeah. one thing. Um, I think it's funny, though. You know, he thinks that uh, Boba Fett's weapons aren't exactly as useful. When he has a lightsaber, something that can cut through just about anything. I'm pretty sure it could cut through anything Quill has. Um, him included. You know, I mean, that's not all he has. Everybody knows Boba Fett has his EE-3 carbine rifle. Very good. You know, he has his blaster. You know, Boba Fett has a lot of different things that he can use to throw at Quill. Um, certain things I think will be able to throw him off. He has a lot of different concussion grenades. So, I mean, Boba Fett, Boba Fett's very strategic. You know, he likes to set the trap, let his, you know, his person come to him. Why go and spend energy trying to catch somebody if you don't need to? Let them come to you. Now, Quill... Let's face it, you know, he's a little bit of an idiot, especially in the movie interpretation. We all know this. He doesn't really seem to plan ahead. He's very quick on his feet, yes, but he just tends to just, oh, uh, we'll just go in here and we'll just do this, and then we'll do it this way, and then just let me do the planning. That way it'll be really good, you know? If he does something like that against Boba Fett, I don't think it'll work in his favor. I really don't. I think, um, you know, Boba Fett will probably set out some grenades. If the helmet is able to scan anything that Boba Fett is maybe doing too much, Boba Fett can very quickly adapt to his environment and his situation. He has environmental, you know, adaptness and awareness. And his training, the Mandalorian training, is very, very good. I mean, these guys are trained to, like, fight maybe six people at once by themselves without armor so you know quill trying to take on someone like that i think it's going to be very tough especially on the fly and quick and when he has no no way to prepare i just don't see it working out in his favor at all but i mean that's because uh you know i'm on both that side I mean, yeah, obviously my opinion is going to sound biased, but that's because, like I said, Boba Fett is my pick, and that's who I'm going with for the win. So I agree with some of those things that he does might have an ability, but you're looking at a man who's looking at a fighter who's not a fighter. He's a complete strategical, out of nowhere, completely just top, pop off of his head, trying to figure out a plan. And because of that, that is a favorite to beat, because with that moment, he could easily just grab one of his little electric grenade looking things push it on Boba Fett's nuts electrocute the man drop him down to that, his knees that's if he's able to catch him I he mean, would look if you're going in a hand-to-hand -hand combat now if it was a distant range situation Boba's got Star Lord's number that's a given because Boba has the, the he's been he's well known for shooting he's well known for shooting from distance Star Lord has been known for just being a crap shotter he doesn't do it like he doesn't have that professional I can shoot somebody. I actually clear think shot, Boba no? Fett's the better hand-to-hand -hand fighter. But. No. I, uh, now, I would say that in a hand-to-hand -hand combat, yeah, but we're talking about improvising in a moment, using gadgets and that moment. Now, Boba Fett might be good in hand-to-hand, -hand, but I don't know at a particular moment that if Starla wouldn't be able to get him where there are vulnerable spots, considering the helmet still helps him in a situation. He's still going to be able to fight this guy even if he's throwing things at him because the helmet gives him the advancement to dodge anything he's going to throw at him. And in that moment, that gives Star Lord an opportunity to see a wiggle room that's, and improvise at that particular moment. That's only if there's a moment. pattern. It's only able to scan patterns and yeah, and he's Fett's got being predictable. Yeah. Boba Fett's not going to be predictable. How I mean, about that's, that? That's just oh, Mandalorians oh. themselves are not predictable. Right, but that's you only just, if we were dealing with ordinary see people coming. seeing them and being like, okay, I'm seeing that person. We're talking about advanced yeah, Will's, technology. Will's never step he's never seen a mandalorian he's not gonna know yeah i know but the technology don't lie it gives him the opportunity to see things coming in a mile more like for example the mandalorian boba fett's helmet it can see things from a 360 degree angle that's an upper advantage in itself 
Star Lord can't come out of nowhere and decide to jump up on him. He can't do anything That's like that. That's why he's not. Gonna be he would able to be able to like him. try to shoot him or whatever, and Star Lord wouldn't see it coming. That would be a given. But that's only if Star Lord didn't throw anything first before he attacked him. If he didn't shoot at him first before he attacked him, most likely he's gonna shoot at him before he decides to throw anything at him or try to swing him. And that's when Boba Fett would dodge it, and that's when Star Lord would figure it out. Okay, well this guy can obviously see me coming, so I cannot go through a surprise attack. And from that moment, from the helmet's perspective, I believe that it's gonna help him go toe to toe in a hand to hand combat with Mandalorian because he's gonna realize. That he's got no shot with him, so he's going to have to improvise at that moment as he's getting his ass kicked. And he's going to pull something out of the bag. It's not going to be the gun, because clearly the gun is going to be... He's going to be able to get that taken away from him easily. But a grenade that has maybe some kind of electric bolt, something with an explosion and stuff like that, that's kind of in itself a very disadvantage. Even though Boba Fett might have something like that, he's thinking this guy is going to take him on one-on-one. -on -one. He's not thinking at that moment he's going to drop a freaking grenade on his nuts and electrocute him. That's what I'm just saying. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. No. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sitting here listening to your crazy theories anymore. No. No. Okay, but no. I will agree. There is, there is an advantage that Boba Fett does have. Distance is his bread and butter. He would be able to kill this guy and if he were to disarm Star-Lord's weapons, which wouldn't be too hard. I mean, if, yeah, if, well. if Peter is that dumb, which he is, he most likely would drop his sack in a moment. He wouldn't be able to use those weapons that he has in his possessions. He probably only had whatever he has in his coats, and from there, Mandalorian, all he has to do, or both of it has to do, is take the coat off. It's not going to take too long of a work. I mean, he's going against him one-on-one. -on -one. And from that point, no weapons, no gizmos, no gadgets, just the jet boots. No, I don't see it. I don't see it working out for Peter. The only thing I could see Peter trying to... Star-Lord being able to even remotely win at that moment is if he somehow can manage to use the jet boot to somehow kick Boba Fett so hard that he knocks him out like that <laughs> with the jet boot. That's all I could think of. Like That's the only way I could see that he would be able to take out Boba Fett at that moment. But even then, would it be enough to keep Boba Fett down? I don't think so. No, I don't know. I wouldn't believe that. Um, but like I said, if he was unarmed, I think if both of them were unarmed, I would see Boba Fett winning this fight. Because Peter has, even though he's probably had experience from Yondu, I, it's not enough. I don't know enough about Yondu to know what, what the tactic styles that he has. But what you have with the Boba Fett, you have more, uh, you have more knowledge of it. I Peter believe. also just doesn't seem to be that well trained. I mean, I think Boba Fett has the advantage as far as discipline and all that discipline yeah. hand to hand i think he's better with his weaponry and if anything maybe quill's a better pilot he does seem like a very skilled pilot but you know yeah but pilot's not gonna matter at that moment like unless he I uses mean, it, it, it could if they happen to run each and the, each other in yeah and the superpower but... beatdown that's what happened isn't that crazy uh, you don't you don't know this but that's what happened at the end of the superpower beatdown spoiler oh. alert if you guys haven't known there was a fight between Peter, uh, between Star-Lord and uh, Boba Fett, it was like a fan vote, and what do you call it, at the end, Star-Lord somehow survives by using his ship to take down Boba Fett. See, I could see him taking him down that way, yeah, as far I, as hand-to-hand -hand yeah. with the weaponry. Practical and sense. And the armor oh, that Boba has, you're I, right. I don't think it I is. think, yeah, I think you're right. I think that ending makes sense because he has a voice command with it. So he can easily oh, bring the, his yeah, so he can bring the ship to him and just go to town on Boba with the gun. Uh, but then Boba might be able to shoot the ship down. Does he might be able a, to throw the lightsaber right at the ship and cut it through, right? I mean, he has, he has an anti-vehicle rocket. Whether or not that would be yeah, oh yeah, to take yeah, the down, rocket, yeah. I don't know if it's just enough to take down a ship. A spaceship, yeah. But, From a space, yeah, an alien spaceship craft? I don't know. I mean, the, that, 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 that rocket material. does pack a pretty mean punch, I will say that. I mean, I don't know the material of the spacecraft, and I mean, how far can the rocket go, and how far does the spaceship have to like I do go a little it, higher in order to, to avoid it? It has to be at a good distance. He can't be like would right the, next to him. Would know? the spaceship be able to dodge it, knowing that it's coming its way, or would Peter need to like tell it dodge? <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's a really odd question. I mean, yeah, I could see this like. So we made our case pretty much. So if you think like so at the end of the day it's really just pretty much a conversation. We really you never really know who's gonna win, but we're making our case. 
I think Peter would win based on the advancement of his helmet. He believes he'll win based on his experience. So that's pretty much how we're going to leave it at that. If you guys agree or disagree, you guys can always feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. <laughs> Tell us who you think won. Leave your vote. Yeah. Woo. It's very simple. Just type both Fett or yeah. type Star-Lord. Mm -hmm. yep. And if you guys want, uh, you know, you guys want to name the next theme leave suggestions you know fights of characters we're gonna fight maybe video game characters maybe cartoon characters maybe you want to see dexter from cartoon network go against jimmy neutron from nickelodeon just give us whatever you guys feel as an example we have plenty of ideas of our own but we would love to hear you guys give us some so that way we can also entertain you guys in your own way right appreciate you guys catch you guys later peace